let's see what we have in the story basket. It's too noisy! <laughs> Ooh, look at all that! This story is by Joanna Cole and it's illustrated by Kate Duke. It's too noisy! Sometimes it does sound too noisy at our houses, doesn't it? Yes, let's see what's so noisy about this. I see things that make noise. I do. Once, there was a little house. And do you know who lived there? Oh boy. Alright, here we go. Who lived there? A poor farmer lived in that house with his wife, a grandmother, a grandfather, lots of children, and a little bitty baby in a crib. Mm. Day and night there was always a lot of yelling and singing and snoring, laughing, fighting and crying. It was too noisy. The poor farmer wanted quiet, so he went to the wise man. Oh, wise means very smart. Wise man, wise man, he said, my house is full of people. It's too noisy. Tell me what to do. Oh. The wise man closed his eyes. He thought and thought. Here is what to do, he said. Bring your rooster and your chickens into the house. That is a funny thing to do, thought the farmer. I do not know how that's going to help him. But he did what the wise man told him. He got his rooster and his chickens. He put them in the house. Well, to me, that's just going to make more noise, right? Oh. That night, there was a lot of yelling, singing, snoring, laughing, fighting, and crying. And now, there was a lot of clucking and crowing, too. It was much too noisy. The next day, the farmer went back to the wise man. I put rooster and the chickens in the house, he said, but it, it's worse than ever. Then you must put your pigs and your sheep in the house, said the wise man. That is a very funny thing to do, thought the farmer, but he did what the wise man said. That night there was yelling and singing and snoring and laughing and fighting and crying and clucking and crowing and now there was oinking and bang too. It was even worse than before. The farmer went back to the wise man. Noise, 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 he said. I cannot stand it anymore, the wise man said. Now put your donkey and your cow in the house. What? Is the wise man crazy, thought the farmer. But he did what the wise man said. He put his donkey and his cow in the house. Now... There was yelling and singing, snoring and laughing, fighting and crying, clucking and crowing, oinking and baying, and braying and mooing. It was so noisy the poor farmer did not sleep at all night. I bet. Poor thing. The farmer went back to the wise man one last time. Wise man, wise man, my house is like a barn, he cried. I cannot stand it. The wise man smiled. Here is what to do, he said. Take all the animals out of the house. The farmer ran home. And he did just what the wise man said. He put 
out the chickens. He put out the rooster. He put out the pigs. He put out the sheep and the donkey and the cow. Was the little house still noisy? Well, there was still yelling and singing, and there was still snoring and laughing, and there was even some fighting and crying. But, there was no clucking, no crowing, no oinking, no baying, and thank heaven there was no mooing or braying either. And to the farmer, the little house seemed as quiet as quiet can be. Well, what to say about that? It's too noisy. What do you think about the wise man's advice? <laughs>